This video is about how to solve longer logarithmic equations. Okay, a little bit, a few more steps than what we've done before. So just a bunch of examples. So here we're just going to dive into one. Now notice on this that you've got three terms. One, two, three. The first two terms are logarithms with the same base, right? If they're logarithms with the same base, you can condense them either using product rule, quotient rule, or power rule. Well, since there's a minus sign, this should tell you it's a quotient rule. So I'm going to condense it to one logarithm and put the x plus 1 on top, x minus 1 on the bottom. And it still equals 2. That hasn't changed. Now, remember the first step was to condense. The second step is to swirl. Well, 3 is my base, so 3 squared equals x plus 1 over x minus 1. Well, we know that 3 squared is 9, right? Now I'm going to cross multiply. <clears throat> so if I do this, I have x plus 1 equals 9 times x minus 1. Distribute out your 9. And we're going to solve it for x. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. Subtract 1. So x, or So I have 10 equals 8x divided by 8. And x is, if I reduce that 10 eighths, I get 5 fourths. <clears throat> so when you're doing longer equations, you want to make sure that the, the value you end up with is legitimate. Okay, What I mean by that is that you cannot take a logarithm of a negative number. So you have to eyeball this and think about it. Okay, 5 fourths, it's 1 and 1 fourth. So if I put it back into my equation, the first logarithm, 1 and 1 fourth plus 1 is still a positive. 1 and 1 fourth, if I subtract 1, is still a positive 1 fourth. So it would still work over here. So this is a good solution. Sometimes we have what are called extraneous solutions that do not work when you put them back in the equation. So you're going to have to check and make sure it does not make the log turn negative. Okay? Because that will not work. It's impossible. Let's try another one. <clears throat> three terms again. 1, 2, 3. But notice, they're on different sides of the equal sign. They have the same base, so if they were on the same side, I could condense them using one of my properties. So I'm going to subtract this logarithm over here on the right, so that I can get them all on the same side. So I now have well, log base 2, 5x plus 4, minus log base 2 of x minus 1, equals 3. Now, since they have the same base, I can condense this using product rule because there's a minus sign there. So 5x plus 4 over x minus 1 equals 3. All right, let's swirl this thing. So 2 cubed equals 5x plus 4 over x minus 1. Well, 2 cubed is 8. Hopefully you know that. So when I cross multiply, <clears throat> I get 5x plus 4 equals 8 times x minus 1. Distribute out my 8. And I'm going to solve it for x. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. Subtract 8 from both sides. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Divide by 3. Sorry, it's not a minus. It's dividing by 3. So x is equal to negative 4 thirds. So when I subtract it, I get 4 equals 3x minus 8. If I add 8 to both sides, 
I get 12 equals 3x, divide by 3, x equals 4. 4 is a positive number, so let's just check our equation, make sure it still works. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4 is 24, so that's positive, it works. 4 minus 1 is 3, which is positive, and it works. Okay, so I checked, and this is an invalid solution, not extraneous. Okay. Okay, on example three, notice you have two logarithms, base 12, and they're separated with a plus sign. That means we use the product rule to bring them back together. So if I condense it down, I do the log base 12 of x times x plus 1 equals 1. All right? Now, to get rid of the logarithm, I should, I should do the swirl to get me out of that. So I have x times x plus 1 equals 12 to the first power. Okay, hopefully you know that that is just 12. Now, I'm going to distribute this x over here on the left. So I have x squared plus x equals 12. I want to get everything to one side of the equal sign, so I'm going to subtract 12. x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. All right, now at this point, I'm going to factor. Okay, what two more numbers multiply to give me negative 12, but add to give me a positive 1. Hopefully you know that that's 4 and negative 3. So I have x plus 4 and x minus 3 equals 0. And I said each factor equal to 0. So x is negative 4, x is positive 3. Now I need to check my answer, plug it back in and make sure the log does not turn negative. So if I start with negative 4, if I put that in as x, right here, if I put log base 12 negative 4 in my calculator, it's an error. You cannot take the logarithm of a negative number. So 4 is not a valid answer. Okay? So I know that much just from the first step. So I can eliminate 4. What about positive 3? Okay, so if I do log base 12 of, of 3, that's legitimate. You can do that. And then I keep going, log base 12 of 3 plus 1, which is 4, that's positive, it works. So I'm good to go with the 3. So 3 is a valid solution, negative 4 is not a solution. Okay, so you always have to check your answers. All right, on your own, I want you to try this one. When you get to class, we'll go through it, but I want you to go as far as you possibly can, even potentially solving it, and always check for extraneous solutions. All right, we'll see you in class.